Good morning, everyone. It is November 4th. In a mere four hours, the Binding of Isaac Rebirth will finally be available to everyone. So, in honor of this, I'll be recording one last Wrath of the Lamb playthrough. So, taking a look at my stats. Now, I did reset this game at one point, so, eh, you know, take this with a grain of salt, but um, not the most amazing in the world. We are going to be playing with Isaac today. It just seems like the right thing to do, and we're going to be having some fun. And, you know, it's going to help me kill about probably 30 to 50 minutes before, up, <laughs> before Rebirth comes out. And I will be recording the first ever playthrough of Rebirth. I'm very excited to see stuff like what my first item is going to be, what my first boss is going to be like. It's uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. So thank you for watching this. I mean, I will actually be shocked if anybody watches this. Range up. Yeah, we're going to re-roll that. <laughs> Polyphemus. <laughs> Alright, thank you, game, for giving me a wonderful send-off. We'll see if we can do right by you by actually making it to the chest and not screwing this up. Wow. Let's see if our item rooms over. Secret rooms over here. Nope. Uh, let's see. Where would you be? Man, yeah, let's save a bomb. I don't want to use all my bombs chasing down the secret room in case the tin of rock shows up. Oh, we're going to have Spirit Heart version, uh... Oh. Yeah, so, Rebirth. It's gonna be great. I'm very excited. Oh man. I was actually, like, quite amazed that I was able to sleep last night. Um, I actually went to bed early. And I was shocked. I did wake up at like 4 o'clock this morning going like, no, so many more hours to wait. But, uh, you know, it comes out at noon my time. Uh, I live in Central Time Zone America in this wonderful Chicago area. And yeah, we'll open it. Pay for itself. Got a crap ton of money. That'll be good for the next floor. <sighs> Spoonbender is not that exciting, so we're going to try to reroll that once we uh, clear one more room. Yeah, I'm really excited about Rebirth. I'm really curious as to how much of these same strategies, like base, you know, they're going to be applicable. Like based on all of the uh, previews and stuff, like Spoonbender is going to be an amazing freaking item, right? Like it makes Brimstone homing, which is just crazy, right? You know, so Spoonbender is gonna, probably going to be like this incredibly awesome pickup. Um, in Rebirth, whereas here it's like, nope, we gotta reroll that one immediately. Don't need that. Don't need that at all. So I'm interested to see how much the rules change. I'm interested in, ooh, that's fun. It's gonna help quite a bit, actually. <coughs> so I'm interested to see, like, man, this is just going sweet. Uh, how much the rules change, how much some of the strategies, like, yeah, we need to get a deal with the devil. I'm interested in stuff with, like, upgradable shops and the compass. Oh. Today, Isaac, I love you. You are being oh so kind. <laughs> oh so kind. Lust. Lust is gone. I guess we'll get all risky and... Well, I don't want to take these pills. Well, why not? We found pills and ate them. Alright. We're gonna have re one... Yeah, it looks like we're gonna use up all of our rerolls getting to the boss room. So let's just uh, mosey on over there and we'll see what we got. Ooh, another tinted rock. That is actually really good. Sweet. 
was hoping we'd get a spirit heart so we can get a good deal with the double chance and avoid taking stupid damage. Uh, we'll take this chest. Ooh, to the rock over here. <laughs> this is like the game is giving me all of its gifts. After being so cruel to me over the last year, it's just making up for it, saying, you know what, Raven, everything's cool. Like, we have appreciated your patronage. Oh, did the fire get me? Oh. Yeah, it's sweet. Not the greatest trinket, but not the worst either. And one bomb for key in a chest seems worth it. <coughs> yeah. So yeah, I've been riding the Rebirth hype train all damn week. And I'm really excited for the fact that it's out. It's still pretty early in the morning over here. Um, these rooms have just been really weird. And one of the things that I'm hoping for is uh, that I'm actually hoping it's going to take me a long time to vote. That's what I'm going to be doing as soon as this is over. Let's go see what we've got in here. Luckfoot and the Pact. Um, I like both of those items. Luckfoot's going to be useful because we're going to have an arcade on the next floor. You know what, I'm going to take these and I'm going to re-roll the coin first. Uh, oh, HP. Excellent. So, you know, you just gotta play balls out sometimes. And considering how kind the game has been to us, I'm hoping that we can take advantage of that and just kind of keep rolling on the way through. Hope for some, something like a, uh, you know, ability to fly would be really nice. So we'll be getting a lot of golden chests. Actually, let's go up here in this mob trap room and we'll... Open up those golden chests in here. We'll get some more HP. Nope, just half a heart. Kind of disappointing, but what are you gonna do? All right, taking out some grandfather flies. Feels good. And I'm actually hoping that on my first rebirth run that I fail miserably. Like, I'm actually hoping for the game to be as difficult as possible. Um. And I'm really looking forward to all the surprises, you know, like, everybody's really psyched about the new items. Um, I think a big portion of that is everyone's really interested in just... It looks like the potential to become ridiculously overpowered is much higher in Rebirth. And I think that's something that gets people really excited. Um, you know, the possibility of having stuff like uh, homing, homing brimstone mom's knife combos where you've got, you know, ten mom's knives on the screen that fly around and automatically attack enemies. Like, that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, with the potential item combinations being much, much higher. Mm, we'll re-roll it. That's terrible. So. With the potential item combinations being much, much higher, you know, the, the potential for ridiculous power comes as well. I think that's something that, you know, I know I'm excited for, and I imagine a lot of other people are excited for. Um, the fact that there's more rooms, you know, so the game's going to feel a lot more fresh through every playthrough, which is going to be really nice. I mean, Ed's hinted at the fact that it's going to take, uh, you know, a good 500 hours or so for you to see everything. I mean, The Binding of Isaac was already huge to begin with. The ladder. A lot of things that we're gonna have to re-roll on this floor. Let's go, uh, really do want to get, you know, like a treasure map or the nun's cabin or something uh, phenomenal like that. So we're gonna re-roll our item room first. Because if we can get the, the map, oh boy, we're doing a lot of bad damage here. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. My whole family's been wicked sick, uh, this whole, basically for the last two months, uh, Chicago has just been going through this crazy, crazy respiratory thing. Uh, everybody's been, been getting it, and flies, welcome. The special dude flies. Let's see what he pays out with. I'd actually be alright with the some like a box right now just because I could use the extra eight ball. 
So many things to reroll, pageant boy. There's no arcade on this floor. What to do? Well, let's take it, the money. Well, we're gonna be, it looks like we're gonna be re-rolling a lot of stuff on this floor, so we can't re-roll everything. I mean, we might be able to re-roll everything, but, you know, not how I want to play it. Ah! <laughs> I want to play it by running into Larry Jr. constantly. <laughs> or whichever variation of this it is. Oh my gosh. Don't die on this floor. This is, this is the last... HP is very welcome. This is the last vanilla. Don't screw this up. <laughs> oh, let's poke our heads in here real quick. Eternal Heart. Okay, we'll, we'll remember to grab that on our way out. Alright, so priority is going to be rerolling this item room. Let's walk over, or rerolling the shop rather. Let's walk over here. We'll head north. We'll go two rooms in this direction. And then. We'll uh, get our reroll. See stuff like this. So like that's almost two of the same rooms like back to back. Ow! Like I highly doubt that that's gonna ever happen in Rebirth with all the room combinations that they've made. You know, and it's gonna be stuff like that that's gonna be really interesting. I'm looking forward to. Um, it's gonna be good. Excited about the new art. I mean, the Callus has always done a great job. You know what? I'm gonna buy this anyway in case the reroll is awful. And then this way I can go get a bomb. So I have a feeling that bomb is gonna be useful. The ladder's not terrible, it's just not optimal. Ghost baby? Eh. Yep, he's not terrible. I do really like the babies. I like the fact that the babies are going to be uh, multiplayer engaged come uh, four hours from now. Two hours from now? Three? I don't even know anymore. Right now I need to focus on killing radioactive spiders. Actually what we need to be doing is going to our next item room so that we don't waste our other reroll potentials. It would be really good to get something spectacular in our item pool. And we'll come up with that afterwards. We might need the extra room. <coughs> Polyphemus, doing good work, son. Lard. Well, it's 2 HP. It's hard to say no to that. Alright, so we're going to be visiting our deal, our devil room, right? Is that what we're going to be doing? Let's go down to the sacrifice room, let's see if we can get back at the full HP so we can visit this mob trap room. Alright, much. Feel better about getting the key here. I've got one extra for the next floor. Need some HP, please. Or not HP. I need. Yeah, some HP. I need some red hearts. If you don't mind. Thank you very much. We'll check over here. So, uh, these guys who I've always hated both so much. Just try and stand still and just get these shots in here. So, yeah, I can't. I think the last time I was really this hyped about a game being released. Uh, as excited as I've been about Rebirth was when Watch Dogs came out earlier this year. That ended up being kind of a disappointment in the end. I mean, the reason I was so excited about Watch Dogs is because I'm from Chicago. You know, so when you're from a place that a game or a movie or anything like that gets set in, you know, you get excited. It's just, uh, in Chicago, Chicago's interesting because Yes, it's one of the major cities in the U.S., but we tend to get overlooked a lot. You know, like, when you ask people from other countries, like, where they want to visit in the U.S., they're never like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to go to Chicago. It's, you know, it's always, like, New York, Miami, even, like, Texas is better known to some degree than, than Chicago is. And it's understandable, but it's a little frustrating after a while, because, you know, Chicago's a great city. I love living here. I love the people who, uh, 
I love the people who are here. It's just, uh, I feel like it's very culturally diverse. You can get into, you know, like whatever kind of stuff that you're into is art, music, gaming. Like there's there's stuff here, and uh, I've always enjoyed being from here and living here and the rest of it. And it just feels like the world doesn't have that same level of appreciation for the place as I do. So when I found out that Ubisoft was, you know, putting their next, like, big IP, basically, setting into my city, I was really excited. I was pretty, uh, pretty hyped for that game. And then it came out and I played it and I was like, oh. Alright. Um, but I have the feeling that Rebirth is getting to live up to the hype. Especially for the fact that, you know, like, the game was pretty much... Originally, uh, Binding of Isaac was made by, you know, Edmund McMillan, our incredibly talented game designer. Um, but he, he didn't know what it was going to become. But in Rebirth, he knew to the extent to which the community had grown and to the level that people loved his game and, you know, how people played it and how they had, you know, documented everything and figured out all the secrets and, you know, we're doing speed runs and challenge runs and all of these things. And so, you know, Rebirth was really designed with this, you know, really, really passionate fan base in mind to make the game, uh, you know, better for them. And that's something that a lot of uh, game developers never have the opportunity to do is, you know, to make a game specifically for a fan base, you know, and it's it's something that I'm really excited to see what the what the end result of that is. Um, so yeah, <coughs> let's see. Uh, we're probably equidistant. I can't believe we don't have an arcade. Oh, uh, let's now. Excuse me, not paying attention. <laughs> um. I guess we'll try to go over towards the shop area first. Let's head over here. These guys were delightfully easy to deal with. There's a boss in here. Well, let's go fight him, I guess. It's greed. That's kind of to be expected. He shows up in these secret rooms. I don't know if that means he's not going to be in the shop. You know, sometimes it seems like I run into greed like four or five times on a single run. So we're gonna go check out our shop. We've got plenty of keys. And we're gonna see what's in there. Ooh, slot machine. Alright, well we have all this money. So let's buy it. And then we'll re-roll it. Into Book of Revelations. Ooh. Do we keep it? No. I think we use it. We'll get a level 2 cube of meat. And then... And we'll go to, let's go to our item room. Because now we know we're going to get a level, a level 2 cube of meat on this floor, which is totally acceptable. I mean, you know, you could argue that we already have extra tiers being shot. We don't need it. But it's like, we've got Polyphemus. Like, if having some extra familiar damage uh, is gonna damage us eh, that much, eh, we shouldn't really be worried about it. You know, like, we have all the tools we need at this point, damage-wise, for a successful run. I just like having, you know, level 2 cube of meat around. Like, it's a fun item. The the first time that... I remember the first time... Ah, don't, don't die. The first time I had a uh, cube of meat... Actually, let's go fight the boss while we have spear hearts, because if we could get a deal with the devil, that'd be great. And knowing myself, I'll lose them. I will get hit three times on the way to the shop, so let's go take care of that real quick. See? See, what did I tell ya? What did I tell ya? <sighs> okay. Where was my train of thought? I was talking about something awesome. Just, just, oh my god, really? Why are you here? You are not meant to be here. Coming in from the left or the right? Hey. Hey. 
Why are you here so early? Sons of bitches, see? So many, so many, so many damages. Oh, there we go. I mean, I'm not gonna die on this guy, but me just showing off my poor Isaac skills. I don't know how to dodge that crap. Like, what are you meant to do exactly? Whoa, beams of light. Ugh. Okay, let's go to our item room. And this is usually what screws me over. Like, I end up getting a whole bunch of health, but because of my uh, playing capabilities, oh, there was a penny there. Play capabilities are so poor. <laughs> I get hit so much that I can't really take advantage of the fact that. How are you guys not dying in one hit? Like, what what gives, man? Come to Papa. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go for it. I really wish we had an arcade. Like, we picked up the Luckfoot just so that we could go play the arcades, and it has not worked out. I mean, if we were playing the Luckfoot, we could have easily, you know, and if there was like a fortune teller in there, we could have easily gotten like an amazing trinket. We could have gotten uh, like, you know, four or five spirit cards. The Luckfoot's just ridiculously good uh, when it comes to playing the arcades. But I like playing the arcades because I need all the hand holding and helping that I can get if I want a successful Isaac run. Uh, like at this point, I don't even know like what what I want in this item shop. Like my damage is really good. I guess a speed upgrade would be pretty nice at this point. Ten bombs is not what I want. Sad onion? The question is, is with Polyphemus, is that actually worth it? It's not like we have any proc effects. I guess it is. I mean, it's DPS. Right? Right? I don't know. I intend to find out a lot more about Rebirth. Uh, and become a lot more intimate with that game than I ever was with uh, than I ever was with Vanilla Isaac here. You know, I kind of got to the Isaac party late. I think I started playing around this time last year, and I was just completely fascinated with it because I love games that I'm bad at. I really do. Like that might sound silly to some people. But if a game is, if I'm losing at a game, I know that there's something there. You know, like, I've been playing games my whole life. I was, you know, I played games on PC long before, uh, you know, long before we had things like 16-bit graphics, you know, playing on a X386 machine for funsies, <coughs> um, playing stuff like Qbert and Worms or you know, not that kind of worms that you're probably thinking of, but you know, I've been playing games for a long time. Like gaming is, ooh yes, we got an arcade, excellent, and we got monies, which is also excellent. And our shops nearby, or item room rather. So let's go head up there real quick. We should be able to get the blood bank to pay out, which is going to be very helpful. Um, you know, more HP never hurts. But we're going to go play the crap out of this arcade first. Like, that is priority... How did I get hit there? That is priority number one, is this arcade. And re-rolling the hourglass is going to be priority two. Ooh. Yes, please. Um, so yeah, I've been gaming my whole life. Like, you know, my... And all sorts of games, too, not just, like, computer games. Like, yeah, I grew up on, like, Oregon Trail and, uh... The Exile games, and you know, we're in the world's Carmen San Diego and stuff like that. Um, and of course, like the NES titles, like you know, I played Mario, original Zelda, all that good stuff. Um, you know, but then like my grandfather taught me how to play chess when I was five, and you know, would constantly be beating the crap out of me as a uh, as a little kid. You, know, you just you just, yes, you can learn how the pieces move when you're tiny, but you're never going to be good at chess, no matter, you know, <laughs> no matter how smart you are. So, what I'm trying to say is, is that I've been doing this games thing for a really long ass time, and whenever I stumble across a game that I'm not, you know, like, I understand learning curves and things, but if I'm not good at the game, like, I'm truly intrigued. I'm like, why the hell is this game kicking my butt? Why am I losing at this? Like, games is what I do, man. It's like, why is this hard? 
Um, like, Binding of Isaac actually reminded me of when I was trying to learn how to play Go. Which, if you're not familiar with Go, Go is probably the most difficult and one of the oldest games in the world. Maybe this didn't pay out. Um, yeah. That was not the right time to use a two hearts card. Oh well. Um, and Go is... You know, I stumbled upon it when I first bought my iPad back in, you know, like when they first came out, which I think was like 2008, um, or maybe 2009. Flat penny. Awesome. And this, this is the kind of mess you end up with when you have luck foot and you're playing in the arcade. Um, so, yeah, with Go, Go is one of the most, like, challenging games in the world to, to learn and to map, or not to learn, but to master. It's one of those easy to learn the rules, you know, incredibly long life to master. Um, it's a lot more complicated than, uh, than chess, even. And I spent, like, a good two years just studying Go. Uh, when I lived in Germany, I was like, yeah, this game is so damn hard, it's worth pretty much all of my time and attention, because, um... I just, I can't stand the fact that there's a game that, <laughs> that I can't win at. Like, I'm good at games, I should be able to learn this stuff. And eventually I got really good at Go, and I learned a bunch of stuff. And you know, with Isaac, kind of the same thing. Like, I unlocked all the characters. I think, uh, as of right now, I'm, I've unlocked, you know, 95% of all the achievements that I feel good about. Thanks for not hanging out with people I love. We don't need that just yet. We want this blood bank to pay out. Is this like a lucky foot byproduct? The fact that okay. So we're pretty much good on bombs and keys. We're gonna play this guy until uh, until it gives us more spirit hearts. Please stop paying out with every trinket possible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, what is that? Two diamonds. That's actually really, really good right now. Use that. It would be really cool if he paid out with a Joker card because, you know, that's actually stupidly useful. And he pays out with a Joker card. Awesome. So let's go, uh... <clears throat> well, let's get a little bit more life real quick. From this guy. And then we're gonna go use a Joker card. So I'm sorry now that this has become a uh, Raven Tells Stories over uh, him gambling on Isaac on the last day before rebirth, but oh, that was awful. <coughs> but that is what it is. Uh, yeah. So let's see, what's a good Raven X story that I can tell all of the wonderful viewers about? Um. I don't know, it's actually something I've been thinking about. I'm like, you know, because I got lots of stories, I've done a lot of interesting things in my life. I like to think that I've crammed a lot of nonsense in the first, uh, first 30 years of my life. More so than maybe the average person. Um, but at the same time, I'm not really sure if I feel like sharing all that stuff. I think maybe the more important question is, which one of these trinkets am I going to take with me? Probably not going to be Pushpin. Probably not going to be Pinky Eye. Well, Pinky Eye is good. Oh, uh, Sun Card. You're going to have to come back for you, my friend. Alright. Uh, Pushpin. No. Her Skull we definitely don't want. It would be nice if we got, like, a... Ooh. The left hand paid out or something. So let's take this because we get a free spirit heart. We'll pop the two of spades. We can hang on to the Polaroid. I think. I don't think that's awful. Actually, yeah, because we're pretty much good on bombs, keys, pennies, and the rest of it from here out. We're gonna use this Joker card. We're gonna use it real good. And we're gonna actually let's go get a reroll first. Um, it's possible we want Spirit of the Night, and I wouldn't be against taking Brimstone. We've got plenty of HP, so we can take whatever shows up in there. You know, the only thing that, if, if we see nine lives, we're gonna reroll it. Uh, 
you know, at this point, as cool as it would be to like end it out with turning into Guppy, like we didn't get lucky enough to get a Guppy item, you know, so we kind of got to not do that. You know, but more damage, of course, would be welcome. It's always welcome. Let's see what's in here. Notch Dax, which is complete garbage. So we'll come and reroll that in a second. All right, so Guppy's head and... Or Babylon? Is it? I can't remember. This is how bad I am, so I'm gonna use the little cheat sheet. Platinumgod.co.uk because it's way better than trolling through the wiki. Yeah, that is Horror Babylon, so we're gonna reroll both of these. <sighs> the paw and the nine lives. Oh, these are not the items I wanted. I don't feel confident enough to take either of these. We're on the depths too. But if we don't take them, we're not going to get another deal with the devil chance. But it's not... Ugh. Alright. We're going to skip those. That really pains me. I was really hoping for something like Spirit of the Night or Brimstone or the Mark. Or anything that was going to give us more damage or more utility. That is not what the game has deigned to give us. So, instead... Instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna reroll the notch tax. Oh, and now we get the left hand. Now, now it's worth it to get into the devil room because with the left hand intact, it's really possible to pick up guppy items. Oh man, the game's just giving me goodness completely backwards. Alright, well... It's okay. It is not a problem. Let's go reroll notched axe. If we get the nun's habit... I'll be tempted to take the crystal ball. Just... I'll be tempted, Steam Sale. Let's take the Spirit Heart. Don't need the key. Let's go fight our boss. If the Devil Room opens back up, and those Guppy items are still in there, I'm gonna take him. Because... With the left hand out in the world now, the only better item... <coughs> that we could get would be the Martyr, or not the Martyr, the, the Miter. Miter and Martyr sound very similar. This kill is going pretty easy. Um, yeah, we're gonna be getting a lot of red chests. Oh! Mom fight! This is why I don't do very well at Isaac, because I don't even pay attention to things like uh, when the mom fight is. And this sucks, because now we can't get back to our job. Oh well, that's fine. I'm not going to get a deal with the devil here anyway, because we don't have a way to teleport out. That's cool. We can't keep the left hand, because we got to take the Polaroid. But it's okay. This is going alright. Meat is good. I like meat. We got a crap load of HP. I don't know what that really means for what we're gonna want in our test item. Maybe something like... Wow, this is not a cool room for the womb. I do not like this, not at all. I do not like this short and tall. Go away. Go away. Somebody die already! <laughs> Shit. Not really necessary, but I appreciate it anyway. Oh, we'll play you for a little bit. Let's see if we get some spirit hearts. Actually, some fly love would be nice as well. Take any advantage I can get. Relic, you need to start doing some more work, man. You can't just be following me around expecting free handouts all the time. You know, you're here to give me stuff, not vice versa. Stop talking to Ghost Baby. You know, you guys need to stop chatting about the afterlife and get on it. 
take the pills. <laughs> help up. Sweet! Need all the help I can get. Oh. Alright. Okay. That's uh, onward and upward. Ow. Done about that. Except not put myself in a corner. That would have helped. Oh. <sighs> Okay, which way is the boss room? Oh, thanks, bro. I think that was you. I find it highly unlikely it's gonna be to the right. So let's go back over this way. We're gonna hope that it loops around. One of the things I do like the extra familiar familiars for is for things like on uh, this level where you have all these all these monsters move towards you and the familiars help with uh, the knockback. I think we pretty much like failed our chances out of a deal with the devil on this floor, which is fine. We could still desperately use a speed upgrade. We are gonna want to like go through this whole floor so that we can find the secret room and so that we can find or the super secret room so this point might be something pretty pretty useful in there or it might just be like a blood bank of uh, blood you know hearts everywhere whatever that room's called the hearts everywhere room now brought to you by medical incorporated Fight this boss. Alright. Not a bad boss to be fighting. Ow. All red flies, huh? No, nothing for me to bomb? Okay. We really don't need any more HP at this point. That's a lie, you always need HP. What to do? I think I would feel kind of guilty if I didn't take it. Like I was doing something wrong. Let's go ahead and take it. And then, you know, like what are the chances we re-roll it in a pentagram or whatever? At this point, pretty unlikely. So instead, we're just gonna kind of explore through these rooms. We can head up towards this mob mob trap room. See what's in there. Could be something good. I don't know how this. Uh, I hate these rooms with the masks and stuff. Not my favorite. Not at all. Too bad. One damage. That's okay. Yes, we will happily blow up this to see what's inside of you. Cammy's head. Can I reroll that? <gasps> Rainbow baby, we totally don't need you. We need something else. Now I guess I'll finish enough of the floor to, to, to reroll that. You know, because, like, I need the extra help. Not that grand. Reroll pedestal is very nice to have. What's in here? Eternal heart. Let's see if we can get through this without getting hit twice. If we can, I'll be very proud of myself. If we can't, I won't be that sad. I realize that a lot of this commentary I'm running on with is probably going to sound very Northern Lion-esque. I'm not going to apologize for that. It's because, you know, he's the dude that I've been listening to as far as uh, Let's Play videos before I've started my own here. And it just, it's something that happens, you know, you, you unintentionally emulate people when you're doing certain functions for the first time, right? So like, when I was in the military, the first time that I ever led the uh, formation, you know, I didn't just lead the formation in my crappy voice, you know, I led the formation like the drill sergeant that I had at boot camp. And basically just tried to sound like him because you know then you were gonna sound official so it wasn't me going like you know left 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 right no nah, it was like a straight up you know Jill Sergeant Watson going 
left, right on left, right on left, right left, your left, get on step, get on step and your left, your left, right your left, right left, because that's just so much more entertaining and easier to emulate than, uh, you know, me just trying to make up my stuff, so I tend to <laughs> get in the rhythm of different things. At this point, now that we're stuck in uh, in here without any more reroll opportunities, <clears throat> I'm pretty sad that we didn't actually just pick up Rainbow Baby. I guess we got more items out of the item pool, items that we didn't want. <clears throat> so the mirror is not that interesting to us, unless it's got some sort of you know super secret hidden property that I don't know about. <laughs> Um, you know, I guess if we were to fight Krampus, it would be pretty good. <coughs> so I'm gonna go back and pick it up. It's on the way. And we will get out of this floor without taking, uh, spirit heart damage. Or eternal heart damage, which is good. Alright, my reflection. So yeah. So I tend to emulate people based on the stuff that I'm doing. It's just, it's how I've gotten through life as a almost musician, as a person in the military, and as a, well, soldier in the military rather, and then, you know, now as a marketing person. Ooh, there's an arcade here! Let's go there first. Let's go play the crap out of this arcade. Yes, we're gonna open you. Because 26 keys, there are no reasons not to. Come here, heart. Don't run away. Be my friend. Don't be that friendly. Yes! Alright. Start paying out and everything awesome. Emperor, that's. Oh, come on. Two plays? Two, that's it? Alright. Feel a little gypped about that. You were supposed to just give me a crap load of, of spirit hearts. You know, I need a lot of red hearts on the floor if I'm gonna play. Alright. So I guess everybody's trying to pay out early. That's cool. I'm okay with that. I would love it if this guy started paying out in blue hearts instead of red ones, but I guess the chances of that are low. We're gonna be fighting it lives down here. We're not gonna be going to our boss trap room. So I think that has lived out its usefulness. Let's go to the boss. We're gonna save the Emperor card for uh, the Isaac fight in the Cathedral. So we're gonna get to the Cathedral. We're gonna pop the Emperor. We're gonna pop it good. I think I gotta go the other way now to get to the boss room. Is it more likely to be up or down? Let's see. Let's see. Okay, it might be. It might be here. So I feel like the boomerang effect was. Ow! Terrible. I feel like the boomerang effect increases its usefulness if you get- Ow, oh, really? Come on, man! Increases its usefulness if you have some more range, I think. That's- I would really- Whoa! Seriously? Does this work with Polyphemus? No, it doesn't. Oh wait, this is Spider Bite, not Mutant Spider. No, this is still awesome. I'll take it. I mean, it would have been nice to get a 1-up too, I guess, but whatever. found pills. I found them pills and then I ate them all. Nothing happened but I feel real funny now. Alright, let's figure out how to get to this boss room and then everything will be over. Whoop. Not, oh. Inadvertently found that room. Absolutely fine. Oh, no, it's just the same. Yeah, it's the super secret room right over here. Build with hearts. Oh, come on! What did I not kill? Alright, I'm just leaving, because, you know, you're not over there anyway. 
you have got to be up here. Oh, come on. I thought I was, like, totally dodging that. Totally. Totally dodging. Alright. Almost there. Let's blow this up. It lives and we'll get on with it. I feel like my, uh, my guessing on the time for the crowd control bombs has been a little off recently. But, you know, whatever. Hasty devil. That's why I like Spider Bite. Alright, two flies, you're going to die. Damage is good. Kill little meat walkers, as I like to call them. Go up here. Hello, Cathedral. How far away is this? Really far away. Okay. So let's see how well we do on this Isaac fight. So chill out, you know, run up, drop a bomb. Got the Polaroid. Not doing too bad so far. Knock on wood. I would really love to end on a run, on a one run, on a win right before rebirth. That would feel very, very, very satisfying. Are my tears even making it? Considering I had no way of restoring my health, I should have gone back to like that sun card. It would be really bad, really piss poor performance if I die right here. Get Isaac. Thank you! Alright, so Isaac's dead. Into the chest we go. Let's see what we get here. Bad, 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 all bad. <laughs> the good news is, is our boss isn't too far away. We have a reroll. Bad odd mushroom. I'll take that. Is that an all stats up little mushroom? I think it is. Mini Muff, Speed of Range. Actually, that's even more useful than the all stats. So we're going to come back and reroll these guys. Fight our way over here. See the room is super helpful, super nice. Champion Chub, or whatever these guys are called. Champion style dudes. Now that I'm actually like recording all this stuff, I feel like it's important for me to learn the nomenclature for all this so that I can accurately broadcast and represent what's going on. Like, so right now I'm dodging to the left of giant uh, caterpillar creatures of teeth and death. It's the stuff of nightmares here inside the chest. It's probably the most accurate way to say it. What is this champion nub? That's not cool. Half hour interval, thank you. Sweet. Yes, we're gonna play this. <laughs> I would like to get back up to full health. Please and thank you. <coughs> I don't need any money. I want hearts. I want lots of hearts. I want you to explode and give me Guppy's Paw so I can turn the hearts we have into a crap load of spirit hearts. I want a pretty fly so that I can have another orbital. Anything. Anything at all. Be kind to me, gambling machine, because this has already turned into an incredibly, stupidly long video. 
if you're still watching, you're in the minority, I would imagine. Uh, thank you, I guess. I hope this has been entertaining. I mean, it'll probably be years and years and years from now till this video actually gets seen and people will be like, hey, did you know Raven's got this, like, secret not playlisted Binding of Isaac playthrough that he did right before Rebirth came out. And it's hilarious because he's so bad at it. I don't even know what to say about that, so I'm just gonna take it and be grateful. That went well. Spider bite is being lovely. I'm also looking forward to different tier effects. And whoa, no thanks. Nothing to take out of the rotation. I will risk one more, one more room. If we're lucky. It'll be a room full of spiders. It would be really nice to get like Book of Shadows or something. You know, like just. Now I don't know which one to attack first. Like, Book of Shadows would be really useful at this point. And, you know, when you get a spacebar item on a pedestal, it seems like you just end up getting more spacebar items on the pedestals, you know? Like, like they it feeds in on itself or something. Um, maybe it has something to do with the item pool. I don't know. Let's see what we get. Mm, razor Blade. Not so good. Mechanic parts might actually do some extra damage if we get right up on him. Oh boy. It's decision making time. Do we go for it now? Or not? We're not gonna be damaging ourselves in the boss room. I don't think re-rolling it is worth it at this point. Let's just go in and uh, we'll hope for the best. And stand really close to him for panic cards. Actually, I wonder if we could do this more safely with... Oh my gosh. We could do this more safely with just... A stupid amount of bombs. Because I would really like to win. I'm gonna try not to do this all haphazard. We'll just dodge carefully. Are my tears even reaching? this. We can do this, Raven. We can do it. If your tears will reach, things will happen the way that they're meant to. No, 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 no. Oh my god! One more hit! Oh, I need that spear heart. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh! We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Yes! Oh, that feels spectacular. Oh, it has all come to a close. So, in an hour and a half to two and a half hours, depending on whether Steam or my clock is lying. Actually, it's my clock. I forgot to move forward. I'll be playing Rebirth. Very excited about that. Uh, thank you everybody for watching this last and final run. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, click the like button. If you, uh, if the sound of my voice doesn't completely drive you crazy, then subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time for Rebirth. It's gonna be awesome!